Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokkan Battle video. In this video we are going to take a look at how you can get the 77 summon tickets in part 2. So obviously you should have from part 1, you should have 23 or 22 tickets I should say. Uh, so you should have 22 tickets. Then in part 2 you can get a grand total of 13 tickets and then obviously in part 3 you will get the remaining 15 tickets so it is very very important to take note of that you will not have all of the tickets now you will be getting 13 of them from part 2 and part 2 is very very simple uh, you will find them here under the grand celebration missions for part 2 uh, and most of them are very very straightforward to get uh, Doken Awakening to characters, a lot of them are tied to the free to play events uh, as well. Uh, so for the most part it's definitely well worth your time to slowly work your way through those events and obviously earn the tickets as you go along. A lot of them are also tied to how many stages you complete so I think um, yeah, you should be more than fine uh, to tackle both of them. I will show you guys obviously uh, what to do. Obviously these three events, the Marriage Showdown Grand Finale, the uh, Vegeta event, the Bulma and Vegeta, an unlikely couple event, uh, all of these you need to complete three times uh, so that you can obviously get yourself the tickets. I do suggest also Dokkan Awakening, the units that drop from these missions, uh, so that you can obviously get the other tickets related to Dokkan Awakening two characters. Now, the Dokkan Awakening me medals have come out with the update to these events, so you should be able to awaken those characters pretty smoothly and pretty easily. There are three events, you have to do all three events. So, you need to do at least them three times, but you should be able to do them uh, enough to Dokkan Awaken the characters. Then we have Extreme Z Battles. These are very simple. We've had two new ones come out. Uh, they do ask you to complete Extreme Z Battle though, so you don't have to do the two new ones. You can do any of the Extreme Z Battle. I highly suggest uh, that you actually do some of the easier ones. Uh, for example, there is the Omega Shenron one, uh, and this is the old fourth anniversary Extreme Z Battle. Uh, and with it, it brings a free-to-play Shadow Dragon Saga lead Goku Spirit Bomb unit. Uh, and I actually suggest doing this one because you can use that Goku in the Omega Shenron and the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Extreme Z Battle that I already did a video on, uh, which you'll find in the top right-hand corner. So obviously, this is a very easy Extreme Z Battle. Highly suggest doing it. There's a lot of good rewards and also you obviously complete the mission. So that's pretty much it when it comes to kind of the focal points of uh, the, you know, missions, I guess. Using support memories and things like that, you can very easily do uh, during the course of farming the medals for Dokken Awakenings. And using support items is also relatively simple, and you can try that out in some of the harder events, or you can just use an orb changing item during one of your story event runs. That is pretty much it when it comes to the tickets. Like I said, um, you guys are going to want to make sure that you have 35 at the end of part 2. To equip a skill orb and complete 3 stages, by the way, also pretty easy. Go to the hidden potential section. If you are looking for skill orbs, uh, there are currently some events up under the growth tab. The clash between rivals, a stage you have to complete anyway. Or you can farm some team bardock gear or ginyu force gear from your trial beyond new horizons. That's it from me guys, hope you enjoyed the video, good luck on getting your tickets and good luck on your future summons. We'll be back in part 3, but bye!